getting crazy. Good morning, guys. Sophie's advent calendar showed up on December the 1st. It wasn't supposed to arrive this early. Poof, it just arrived. I'm struggling with my shaky hands. I'm so excited. So she gets to open oh, her wait, hold calendar. On. Show them what you got. We opened it the wrong way. Show them what you got. One. She's trying to do it like they do it on the on the commercial. Huh? <gasps> Wait, is it? Oh, this is a whack. Oh, that is weird. You don't want me. No, Gabby, Gabby with the long knives. Stay away from Gabby. It's, this oh. one's sharp. This one can no, cut. No, Gabby. It's okay. She's just trying to cut it. No, she she cut the thing. Oh my gosh. Because you pushed my hand. All right, um, listen. It's a wacky track spinner. Oh, that's cool. They give you, you like. Bend the legs. Yeah, I've seen these. But they worked way better than that. <laughs> I have small fingers. Rip off! Okay, what did you get? Who's Show them. Show them. Show them what you got. A little Kit Kat. I can't hear right now. I'm a little sick. So we have all of our grain put together. We have uh, gr Finn for grain. We have Finn for grainy. We have Finn's grain. This is all that he gets. And then this is what Chino gets. And we have all their supplements and stuff in there. This is Chino's, like we're weaning him off of his regular grain and then giving him the new grain. So that's what it looks like. A bucket of grain for Chino and a bucket of grain for Finny. Look how clean our horse trailer is. I mean, mostly clean. Mostly. I got my travel mug. So we got a nice travel mug for Christmas from a wonderful friend and these got the all horses look like on babies it. they're gorgeous though so you guys are probably wondering what the heck laura what the heck what's happening what the heck on the day by day farm are you bringing the horses home what is happening no. so we decided that because the girls really enjoy riding in a lesson program that we're going to take them to a new barn one that has a lesson program someplace that they can ride with friends and be with other people. Even though we love the barn that we are at and we love the field we're at, it might not necessarily be the best field for Chino. It was good for Storm, it's good for Finn, but Chino does not do well in a big herd and in a big field. So we're gonna move them, we're gonna change things up. You know us, we always be changing things up. Sometimes I feel like you have to make choices for the better of your horse, even when it hurts your heart. Leaving this barn that we've been at for a year is gonna be a hard thing because the people there are fantastic. The, our horses love the man that owns that barn. Like, when your horse loves the man so much, you know that the guy's a good guy. Like, you just know. So, we're moving, you guys. We're moving. Gabby and Sam are still packing up the trailer with stuff. I don't know what they went to get, but. We're getting ready and we're moving our horses and the kids are gonna go back with friends, back with a group of people that they can ride with, make videos with, hang out with, and we have some fun, exciting surprise videos coming out this month in December. Happy December 1st. It is the season for videos and fun and friends and family. And so that's what's happening. We're picking up our boys now and we're gonna take you guys with us and show you their new field. But look at this camera. You guys can't see it as good as it looks on the <laughs> on the actual camera. That's Sam's Halo View camera system. And in the actual camera, it's so bright and gorgeous. Like, it just shows everything and it is bright. final walk to catch the horses it's okay though you never know we may be back like I said before this place has been really kind to us and really kind to our horses treated them very very well uh, given them so much food and care and love and that means a lot to me you told Finn to say goodbye to all of his friends Look at you looking cute!
treat bag. <laughs> Smart you. Oh my god, Dad always forgets this. Oh That's god. dangerous. That is dangerous. Racing downstairs to see what might be under the Christmas tree. That was a record. I was able to pack everything up the other day, just throw it in those buckets and have it ready to roll. And that was a record. We just threw everything in, grabbed our horses. Like I thought it would take us forever because we have a lot of stuff, but it was fast. We have to wait a half hour? Yeah, Gabby's in the bathroom. Gabby's in the bathroom. So we'll see you guys in another half an hour and then another hour after that till we get where we're going. Oh, can I please, please have that bird? That Christmas joy. He's Please going straight there. The Bumper. Bumper. Oh my god, those are terrifying. I have to jump over those. Did not go to the mirror. They're looking. Come here. At least they're together. Gabby? Oh my god, he didn't even hit it. Wow. <laughs> he didn't even hit when it! I first got him and brought him here, he couldn't even go over poles without jumping them or cantering after. <laughs> it was a little sad because he would go over the first one and it's then a jump wall the other two. I like canter after. I know, it's a terrifying wall. Come here, Fanny! Come here, Finn! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come here, Finn! No, he sped up a little bit. Fanny! So this is Gabby's locker. And then over here is, nope, that's not it. Wait, is this it? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is Sophie's saddle. Or, this is Sophie's locker. She's already moved in, if you guys can see. Already moved in with no cover on her saddle. She better do that today. Depending on what happens this year, Gabby plans to join the show team at this barn. So she'll be joining the show team, going to the the rated shows, wherever they end up going, whatever end up, ends up happening. And Sophie's gonna join the show team at this barn too. So she'll show rated stuff this summer. This Yeah, this summer. Whether they show their own horse, somebody else's horse, or whatever happens, they're gonna be doing the rated stuff this year with Brandon at this barn. And that's why we moved here. Another reason why we moved here. Yeah, you can let him go. This is the field that... Yeah. So this is their field. It's not huge. But it's not tiny. Like this farm doesn't have huge fields they usually have they mostly have ponies and smaller horses here because it's a lesson barn they're gone to see their friends 
first important thing are friends. And he can see the other fin. And they get their own round bale, and they'll be only together. No other horses. Sheena will like that. Okay. So this is it. This is your new field. So long ago when we first got Chino and he was at this barn, this was his field and he was with Duke, I think, from Barn Boots and Country Roots, I think. And, and there's a mama and her baby next door. So I don't know how well that'll go, but that's a cute baby. And look at chickens. Are they guineas or are they chickens? I think those are chickens. They're still looking around. Look at my shed. Go show them they have electric water. I don't know where it is. So we brought our buckets back. Sam screwed them in so they'll have their grain here, which will be easy. They have their own little shelter. Can't we just hang them here? Yeah, you can hang it there if you want to. Just not leather. She knows will chew leather. Oh. Sheena will probably chew it. Not this one. He chews leather. He chews uh, cross ties. Oh look, the horses are coming to see them. They're making friends. Look, there's there's Gabby's other fin. There's there's Gray Finn. Sheena, you better hide from him. He's your competition. Oh my god. <laughs> Friends. He's like, oh my god, I hate you. She was like, ooh, nice, who are you? He's except for the horses that are taller than him. Look, Grayfin is like, I'm out of here. Finn's like, oh my god. So Brandon said that they all see where the water is when they see Brandon's horses drinking the water. That's they, bad. that's not the water. They have an automatic waterer. See, where he's going. He's like, oh, what's over there? Well, they're gonna go see it now. They're gonna say, that's our water bucket. Mm -hmm. Aw, see, everybody just wants friends. There's Finn down there. Your You're door? okay. Yeah. I think so. Isn't it funny how they're checking to see, like, make sure we're here still? He's like, what about this or one? Not. Finn's like, are you really leaving us here? They're both like that. They're both like, is this really happening? Well, Chino's fine. Yeah, Chino's happy. In denial. Yeah, Finn's in denial, Gabby says. Finn's in denial. And Chino's like, yeah, it's fine. Like, this move is going to be good in so many ways. We originally moved so that we could stay with Fiona when she had her baby. We'd be really close to her and stuff. But now, the girls have missed being with kids so much. They just really wanted to come back. Brandon will take good care of them. They're safe and sound. I like a lot of things about this place. I like that they have their own little fields. Chino likes a small field. I know there are pros and cons to having all different kinds of fields. It's glorious having a big, huge field. It was not glorious for Chino. I'm hoping that this will help a little bit with, their, with his particular feet issues. Plus and, and minus with each. And that's the weird thing is that every horse needs something specific. And trying to meet all their needs at one place is really difficult. The only place that you can ever meet all your horse's needs is at home. And we don't have an indoor big enough for them to ride and, and work towards their dreams of both doing like rated shows this season. I am gonna make an extra video for any of you guys who are interested in all the changes that we're making. Uh, we're still making a few more changes for Chino that are coming, that are up and coming. We're not just changing the food. I'm gonna explain why we changed the food. I also wanted to tell you guys that I've been super lucky enough to be able to work with uh, up and coming equine nutritionist who, who is a viewer and is so smart and so incredible and so patient with me because I'm not that smart, especially about diet. And I want to put out there that in the past I've told God, like, I really want to start taking more control over our horses diet, especially like Storm and Chino who have bad feet. I believe honestly that fundamentally your horse's health starts with diet. So I told that to God a couple of months ago and poof, suddenly I meet this wonderful girl who's amazing and helping me so, so, so much. I'm so grateful for her and 
need to sew. I'll explain all of that in a future medicine, in a future video. But if you think that I just suddenly decided to take it upon myself and change his diet in a way without any information or any research or any help, then nope, that is not what happened. I'm getting lots of help, lots of educated help, and it's been wonderful. So thank you so much for that. And um, we made the right decision. Comment below. I know you guys will tell us what you think about our decision about the whole show team being on the show team finally and uh, instead of going to shows on our own and having our trainer show up we will have be there with a barn with a group with a bunch of people with a bunch of kids all on the same show team with our trainers and having a little bit more support this this time this summer we're looking ahead you guys that is it for today's video I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful